Massive, out-of-control satellite to crash into Earth today. Images of the ERS-2 satellite captured by Australian imaging company HEO Robotics. The European Space Agency's ESA, ERS-2 satellite weighed 2.5 tons at launch and was cutting-edge technology when it launched in 1995, but now the massive satellite is out of control and could hurtle into the planet's atmosphere on Wednesday. ESA's latest estimate suggests that ERS-2 will re-enter the atmosphere at 9.19 p.m. on Wednesday, February 21st. The risks of the satellite falling into populated areas is negligible but not non-existent. The space agency's latest calculations say the satellite should be at the point demarcated by the red dot when it enters the planet's atmosphere. ESA ERS-2 was the space agency's second Earth observation mission. After ERS-1, it carried many payloads including a synthetic aperture radar and a radar altimeter to study sea surface temperatures and winds. ERS-2 also had sensors for atmospheric ozone research. In the year 2001, after several of its onboard Euro systems failed, a group of engineers from ESA and other industries invented a new way to fly and control the satellite systems. After that, the onboard data storage system of the satellite failed in 2003. This meant that the mission had to be redesigned as real-time, meaning that it only relayed science data directly at the time of capturing it. These changes meant that the satellite could function well beyond its intended lifespan. After completing more than 82,000 orbits around the planet, the satellite's mission ended on September 5, 2011. That is when they passivated the satellite, making sure that all its batteries and pressurized systems were emptied or made safe to avoid the chance of an explosion. But before ESA switched off all systems on board, they used the satellite's remaining fuel for a series of maneuvers that lowered its altitude from 785 kilometers to about 573 kilometers. That put the satellite on the path that finally sees it re-entering the planet on Wednesday, and ESA hasn't been able to control it since then. So that was all for today's video. Let us know what you think about it in the comments section, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest uploads. With that said, we will see you next time. Until then, take care.